What's going on guys? Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're going for 9 wins, Diamond JD Martinez, and trying to reveal a 12 win reward. Obviously, we want to win 9 games, we want to get these 3 wins, get to 9, but we do not want to lose the first game. I absolutely hate losing the first game in these types of videos and just ending with going 0-1. I really do not like that. We got a pretty amazing team. We're going for JD Martinez. Let's just go ahead and check his price. I think it was at about 10 to 15 thousand 15, stubs let's just go see what it's at the time of recording this video jd martinez yeah 10 to 14 thousand, just about so it would be awesome if we could win these next three games let's go ahead start off get win number seven also if you guys are watching right now you know feel free to hit the like button if you're new hit the subscribe button and comment anything down below let's think of a question to ask so for dinner tonight, I had Wendy's. Let me know what you had for dinner yesterday, because I'm technically recording this yesterday. So what did you have for dinner yesterday? Let me know down in the comment section below. We're playing the Cadensville comments. Our opponent has 95 Willie McCovey, 85 Chipper Jones, 82 Scooter Jeanette, Wellington Castillo, Rugnet Odor, Marcus Semyon, Brandon Moss, 64 Andrew Miller batting eighth and on the mound, 77 Danny Santana batting ninth. We got Anthony Bandana on the mound away team. Looking for win number seven. Oh my goodness, that could be a nice little hit to start us off. Matt Olsen getting a ground rule double to start us off. I thought maybe we'd have enough and get a dinger, but I will definitely take a leadoff double. We got Tyler O'Neill followed by Diamond Luis Gonzalez, Harmi Kellebrew, Anthony Rizzo, Evan Gaddis, Raul Montesi. Like, we have such a good lineup. You guys know this. this is a 12 win team as long as I can score runs. I'm assuming he's going to take Andrew Miller out. If he doesn't, that's fine with me, too. We got a Diamond righty. Oh, I'm stealing on accident. I didn't mean to, but we're just going to go with the flow. Tyler O'Neill swinging and fouling it off. Tyler O'Neill, absolute no doubter. Oh my goodness, that one got out of here in a hurry as we take a quick two to nothing lead. 412 foot bomb. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Ball four to Luis Gonzalez. Harmin Killebrew coming up. You guys know he has the power to hit a home run. I would love a two run shot right here. Extend our lead four to nothing. Uh, Sanguano coming in. Wow, he. I don't know why, but he just looks. Really, really tan. Maybe it's just the lighting. Ball four to Anthony Rizzo. So, who was it? I don't even remember who it was. Whoever was just at bat. We gr Oh, Harmon Killebrew. We grounded out a little bit of an infield ground down. Advanced the runner to second. Now we're drawing a walk. One down, two on for Evan Gaddis. He definitely has the power to, uh, to send one over the wall as well. Plus Raul Montesi on deck. Like, we got a good opportunity to score some more runs and extend our lead right here. We just got to swing at some good pitches, get the PCI on the ball, and make sure our timing's good as well. Evan Gad is down the line. That's going to score two. I, I, I can already tell it's scoring two. 40 speed, rounding third right now. We're going. Oh, man, it's going to be close, actually. And it's going to be really close. He's not even trying to get us out. It's a two-run, two-RBI double. For Evan Gaddis, four to nothing lead for us. Only one down here in the first inning. Ball four to Raul Montesi. Miguel Rojas coming in. Pitcher spot on deck. Still only one down in the inning. Miguel Rojas looks like we might be grounded into a double play. 53 speed. Dang it. At least we scored four runs in the inning. The pitcher spot going to be coming up in the top of the second. Depending on how this inning goes. Uh, we're probably not going to pinch hit for the pitcher. Our opponent has used a lot of pause time, too, which is really weird. Uh, 25 seconds left here in the bottom of the first inning. No! Oh, dang it. I thought... So, so, at first, it's like, okay, that's a base hit. Then I thought maybe Anthony Rizzo could dive and make the play. So, let's see. Switch hitter and then a lefty. Because we have a four-run lead, I'm going to leave our pitcher in, try and get a double play here. Actually, is this stupid? I feel like this is really stupid. Oh, man. But it's like there's a lefty on deck. Oh, we got two strikes. Let's just bring in Kevin Seegers. Let's just do it right now. Two strikes on Chipper Jones. Uh, I have an idea for the pitch I want to throw. Maybe just do a fastball here and try to paint this corner. He got a lead. or I don't know. He was just kind of dancing around on first base. Let's go. It's hanging up a little bit. Pretty easy out number one. Kevin Segrist getting himself a base hit. Going to be a double. 30 speed. Getting caught in the corner. I'm definitely stopping a second. Now it's the top of our lineup. 
Nobody down. Looking for some more runs here. Matt Olsen. I think it's gone. It's gone. Let's go. I was going to say, I, I wasn't really a no-doubter, but his outfielder didn't move at all. Two-run shot. Six to zero is our lead. Oh, my goodness. Harmon Killebrew getting a base hit. I was hoping we could get a home run, but I'll take a single. Oh, man. 0-2 count to Brandon Moss. Lefty on lefty, and I just threw that down the middle. Uh, oh my goodness, that's not at all where I wanted to throw that one. Pitcher spot, again, batting eighth for him coming up. Luckily, though, we still have a five-run lead. Is that back-to-back? -back? Yo, back-to-back -back homers. Now it's only a four-run lead. Okay, Kevin Seegers, you're done. Uh, it's a switch hitter than a, than a lefty, but, man, we're bringing in our best reliever. Wow. I, th I seriously thought I was safe with that pitch, but oh my goodness. Okay, I'm really glad we got those six runs now. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we might be that one out. Raul Montesi getting an infield single. One down, top of the third inning. Miguel Rojas coming up. Not going to quite drop. Pitcher spot up now. I think we're going to leave Pedro Baez in. I think Pedro Baez is the guy that I want on the mound to close it out. Willie McCovey leading off the bottom of the third inning with a base hit, 34 speed. Going to only be a single. Oh, man. I really, like, if he hits a home run, I only have a two-run lead. So I have to be extra careful here. Oh, my goodness. It's actually a double play. I was thinking we were only going to get one out, like maximum, maybe even none, uh, because he had so much speed on first base. He brought in a pinch runner, I think 86 speed. But now that leadoff single has turned into a double play, and we're one out away from win number seven. As he gets a single, I'm throwing way too many pitches. If I'm going to win these next two games, so assuming I win this one, I need to stop throwing my pitches down the middle part of the play. That's going to do it for the game. I legit threw a fastball pretty much down the middle, too. That's win number seven. Let's go get win number eight right now. Yo, GG, Tree Guy 99. Good game, man. It's all good, bro. It was a good game, man. You made it interesting, too. You were hitting the ball well. And uh, I just scored quite a few runs, but you made it really interesting for sure. And GG. We're playing the Baltimore, Baltimore Bombers. Can you guess where we're going to be playing? He has 85 Grandy, 83 Devin Mezzarocco, 82 Shinsu Chu, Johan Camargo, 78 Matt Joyce, Kike Hernandez, Cesar Hernandez, Yonder Alonso, Scott Barlow, hopefully a righty on the mound. We got Jamie Callahan on the mound. Away team looking for win number eight hey we're not playing in baltimore honestly i thought that's where we were going to be playing instead we're playing in my home state wisconsin miller park i i really just never mind dudes i had no i, I don't know i don't know whatever Matt Olsen starting the game off with a dinger. Let's go, baby. First pitch we see. We take a one to nothing lead. That one was destroyed. Oh my goodness. 436 foot bomb to start off the game. Ball four to Harmon. Kellebrew, a two out walk force in the first inning. Araldis Chapman came in following that leadoff dinger and he shut me down a little bit, man. Chapman's nasty. I want to, I want to real quick. Please don't tell me it's like the silver version, okay? Yeah, 94 version. This Chapman is nasty and I'm definitely struggling. He's at 17 pitches though. So through three hitters, I've made him use now 18 pitches, which I'm, I'm a little bit proud of that because uh, I, I, a lot of the times you guys know, have a hard time making pitchers use pitches anthony rizzo at the plate anthony rizzo sending him to the dugout going to the bottom of the first inning we're nine outs away as long as we can hold on to it we're nine outs away from uh from win number eight yo orioles baseball hope you enjoy seeing yourself in this video i appreciate the kind words man that is awesome i feel like i just said that really weird but that's awesome thank you so much i appreciate the love good luck in the rest of this game hopefully you don't score any runs Ball four to Evan Gaddis leading off the top of the second inning. Raul Mondesi coming up, followed by Miguel Rojas, and then the pitcher spot. Raul Mondesi, 90 speed. It's going to be tough. Infield base hit. Let's go. Oh, man. 
didn't make great contact, but with his 90 speed, we're able to get a base hit. Two runners on, nobody down, number eight hitter coming up. This is where I kind of worry about the frozen game because it seems to happen when that pinch hit prompt comes up. So I'm looking to not ground out. I think that's like the main thing I don't want to do with Miguel Rojas. Maybe I'll even just, uh, you know, take a strike out or something, but anything but a ground out and I'll be happy because we really like it. It's not, it's not guaranteed to happen every time, but there's a chance that there's a frozen game and we do not want that to happen. So I took a strike out with Miguel Rojas. I honestly thought it was going to be a ball, but it was just a called strike three. And then we pinch hit, bring in Brandon Moss. He brings in a lefty, so I bring in Ryan Braun and we get an infield fly rule. Now there's two down, two on for Matt Olson, who already has one home run today, looking to make it two and extend our lead. If he does, it would be four to zero right now. That would be such a huge homer. Ball four to Matt Olson. That brings Diamond Tyler O'Neill up to the plate. Oh my goodness, what an opportunity. This is crazy. 2-0 to Tyler O'Neill. Already in a hitter's count. Tyler O'Neill, no doubt, Grand Slam, his second homer of the day. This one is even bigger than the first. Oh my goodness. First of all, he destroyed it. Second of all, it's a Grand Slam. Third of all, we're three, we're six outs away with a five to nothing lead. As Luis Gonzalez follows it up with a nice little single. Anthony Rizzo, no doubt about it, leading off the top of the third inning with a solo shot, extending our lead. You can never be too careful. That one launched out of here, got out of here in a hurry. 113 off the bat, 458 foot bomb. Let's go. Oh, I wanted to die for it. Cesar Hernandez leading off the bottom of the third with a single. I was thinking about diving, but I figured it wasn't worth the risk. Kevin Segrist on the mound, six to nothing lead. I would love a double play here. If I could just get a double play, get those two outs just like last game following that leadoff base hit, that'd be amazing. And that should do it. Win number eight. GG to you, Orioles baseball. Tyler O'Neill with the dagger, bro. That grand slam, his second home run in this video. Absolute no doubter again, man. He's killing it for us here in these last few games. We're eight and one. Let's go get win number nine right now. We're playing the Cincinnati Red Stockings. Our opponent has an immortal leading him off. Joey Gallo followed by finest Javier Baez, 81 Adam Land, 85 Tyler O'Neill, Chipper Jones, 79 version, Jackie Bradley Jr., Troy Chulewiski, Brett Nicholas, Sandy Alcantara on the mound. Battle of the Brothers. We got Victor Alcantara on the mound. Good thing for us. Sandy is a righty. We're the away team. Looking for win number nine, baby. Oh, no. Don't look, guys. Do not look. He has a 12 and no name play, but we're not worrying about it. It's all good. We're going to take it like any other game. We've been hitting well. We've been pitching okay. And we're going to carry that into this video. I think that's going to drop. Yeah, Luis Gonzalez, bro. Two out base hit. Base hit. I'll take it, though. Uh, now we got Harmon Killebrew. Imagine. Lefty on the mound. Josh Hader, he's pretty good. Uh, but Harmon Killebrew. A dinger puts us in the lead. I would take that for sure. Harmon Killebrew, please carry. I can't tell yet. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. What? I don't know what happened. I really have no clue what happened. I'll take it. I just got so lucky, though. Back-to-back -back times, I got lucky. Luis Gonzalez, little blooper, probably should have been caught. Harmon Killebrew probably should have been caught. I mean, I think we made good contact, though. Like, it felt like we made a really good contact. But uh, I, I think I got a little bit lucky there. I'll take it, obviously. You know, it's, it's not like I'm the only person getting lucky ever in MLB or something. So I'll definitely take it. But, man, I, I always feel a little bit bad when that's how I'm scoring my runs, by getting lucky. Yeah, well, there goes our lead. Joey Gallo leading off with a dinger, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, dudes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't say I wasn't expecting that. I think we made a decent pitch. If you guys look, I think we made an okay pitch. But obviously, uh, you know, got to get it a little bit lower than that. And uh, Joey Gallo showed us exactly why. He ties the game 1-1. One, one. Dang it, man. Raul Mondesi getting a one-out base hit, so Miguel Rojas coming up. 
Top of the second inning, only one down, 90 speed on the bases. Oh man, something into the gap for me would be huge right now. So he, he seems to be thinking I'm gonna run. Two and one count, now I'm gonna run though. Now we're running, we're looking for a change up, hopefully. Let's get a lead off, stealing Miguel Rojas. Let's go, we're safe. Runner in scoring position, only one down. Two, two count to Miguel Rojas. Oh, my heart's pounding, you guys. Three and two to Miguel. Here we go, buddy. You got this. Ball four. Let's go. Oh, man. That was close, but it's a ball. Ryan Braun coming in to pinch hit. Two on. One down in the inning, man. Josh Hader, 21 pitches. Still on the mound. He brings in a righty. Okay, so that means... That means Brandon Moss coming up. Oh, my goodness. I really want Brandon Moss to hit a dinger here. That would be so huge. He brought in a pitcher, four-seam splitter slider. Brandon Moss, dang it, man. He sends it deep, but we got a little bit too far under it. Raul Montesi going to be getting to third. 90 speed. I would love to send him home, but, you know, I don't think there's any chance uh, we score. There is a chance we score, and we do. Wow. We actually did. Tagging from second to home, and we take the lead again. Two to one. I don't know how we scored. I really don't. I got lucky again, dudes. This game is luck after luck for me in a, in a way. Oh, man. I'll take it. Obviously, I'll take it. But wow. Not at all what I was expecting to have happen there. Let's go, baby. Huge strikeout. We're three ounce away. We, we, I need insurance runs in the top of the third. But we're three ounce away from getting nine wins, getting JD Martinez, and revealing a 12 win reward for you guys. Ball four to Luis Gonzalez. One down, top of the third. Harmon Killebrew coming up. Please, let's get a home run, Harmon. Wild pitch, 49 speed. I'm going to send him. We have a runner in scoring position. Only one down, two and two count to Harmon Killebrew. Oh, man. Harmon Killebrew going to try to advance the runner. He's going to miss the tag. Everybody's safe. Am I, am I getting just super lucky? I, 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 does anyone else feel that way? I feel like I'm getting, like, super lucky this game. And I feel kind of bad about it. Uh, Anthony Rizzo off to bat. He brings in another righty, Craig Stammen. Let's just go ahead. Uh, it's the 77 version. Sinker slide, four seam, two seam knuckle curve. A lot of pitches to watch out for here. Anthony Rizzo, that's going to score a run, I'm pretty sure. 40 speed. It's going to be close. He got me. Dang it, man. We're three outs away, though. Three outs away, lefty up to bat, lefty on the mound. He has lefty pitcher spot, lefty, righty, lefty. So I'm going to leave him in and then probably leave him in for the pinch hitter too. I really hope we can just get this out right here. Why did I throw that pitch? 0-2 count and I throw that pitch, man. A high change when I hang it too. 28 speed. He's going to stop at second. So that's a tying run. Nobody down. Tying run in scoring position. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be tough, you guys. This is going to be a tough one to hold on to. It's going to be really tough, I think. Let's go, baby. Huge out number one. The issue is Joey Gallo coming up. I feel like I walk Joey Gallo here. Even though we have a lefty, I, I think I walk him. I think we're going to walk him bring in a righty. I, I, Joey Gallo's my kryptonite, you guys. So we're going to walk Joey Gallo. Double play is set up now. I'm going to go ahead. He is a righty, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finest Javier Baez. So we're going to bring in Houston Street. Oh, my goodness, dudes. I'm very nervous right now. Game on the line. The tying run at second. The winning run at first. One down in the final inning. Hopefully, final inning of the game. Oh, man. That's close. I need that. I need that call, Blue. Javier Baez popping it out, flying it out, rather, I, I would probably say, for a huge second out of the inning. So this is tough for me, okay? Do I bring in a lefty to face the lefty, Adam Lind? I feel like I do. I feel like I bring in Dan Runsler. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. I, 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 get, give me the matchup. I'm doing it. I normally want to do this. That's my final lefty, but... I feel like this is too big of a situation not to. Please don't bring in a righty. I don't know who he has. He probably has someone on the bench. No, he's leaving him in. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm very nervous right now. 1-0. Let's go fastball inside. Oh, no. 
man. Okay, I wish we had a change up. I really wish we had a change up. Curveball will have to do getting the out. Please come on, get the out. Let's go. Holding on for the win. That's win number nine. Let's go ahead. Reveal the 12 win diamond reward. I just want to say my opponent if you're out there uh, I think it was like Neil JD or something like that was the PSN if you're out there. I Feel like I got a little bit lucky not gonna lie uh, Obviously, I've been on the other end of it, too So like I know how it feels, you know, you're, you're, you're not gonna have the game on your side every single game or something uh, So I know how it feels, but I, I think I got a little bit lucky uh, Feel free to let me know down in the comment section what you guys think um I also made some stupid decisions that ended up paying off, like going home uh, on that sacrifice fly. Probably wasn't the smartest decision. Decision, like I, I feel like if he had just not thrown to third, if he had just stuck with the cutoff man, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I feel like I would have been easily on a home, but just because of what my opponent did, it ended up working out in my favor, and uh, I'm definitely happy about that. Let's go ahead though. Let's reveal. The 12 win reward we won. I think Nolan Arenado is a good one. Mike Trout's another guy that we obviously want. Um, those are like the two off the top of my head that I can really think about that are worth a good amount of stubs. Uh, we just got about 10,000 for getting JD Martinez. And I will take whoever, you know, if we can get three wins, we can get to 12. Yeah, Neil GD, not JD, GD. Uh, if we can get 12 wins tomorrow is when we'll probably go for it. I'll take that for sure, obviously. And uh, it's going to be 89. Fred McGriff I, I, I've i seen this card before I've played against this card once or twice Not a whole lot uh, Postseason flashback, 89 overall Let's go ahead and see how many subs he's worth Hopefully a lot <laughs> uh, He's worth a lot you guys Worth a lot of subs for sure 15 to 20,000 If we can get three more wins Obviously I'll take it It's no Arenado or Trout uh, But we're still going to try to go for it And uh, I think that's all I have for you guys today What a crazy set of games Probably a little bit longer of a video um, A lot of stuff happened in those games A lot of base hits A lot of just a lot of stuff happening So probably kind of a long video So I do apologize if it is on the longer side of things um, the more the merrier though, I guess be sure to leave a like subscribe comment anything down below I asked a few questions one. Maybe what you had for dinner yesterday. I don't know I just like reading your guys's comments and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day Peace out